Hello and welcome to a new video about my motor controller thing. I made the redesign. Okay, so this was the original design. I tried to keep the overall look in touch, yeah, the, the same, so I don't have to print out a lot of parts. Well, almost all. The only thing I don't have to print out is this green part here. What I've done is I changed and now it's a little bit higher. So I have got more room. Uh, and well, let's have a, a more detailed look at it. Uh, well, I will, this one I don't know if this is working or not, so I will simply uh, turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. Then here inside. It almost looks the same. Yeah, there's the rotor. This is the same. The, the tube is the same. Okay, this part is the same. And here we have got some some differences. Ooh, these ones I will also make disappear. Our logo. Uh, the rotor. Yeah. This the propeller. The the fan. It's looking pretty much the same. However, yeah, I made a bigger hole in the base so that. The new motor has a bigger has a bigger uh, shaft. That's it. Uh, so here is the new motor. This has now a two dot three millimeter shaft. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, this is the motor, and it is also round. So we have to have an other form of of preventing a twist of the motor. Yeah. So actually here this is the part and since the motor has now more more power yeah, I have decided to make here holes, ventilation holes. Okay? So that we can that the motor is cooled better. Ooh, here here the some Something missing, I will add this afterwards. Huh? And add the at the upper part, I will also have I also added some ventilation holes and I added two holes for screws so that we can screw the motor and prevent it from turning. Okay? So this is the new the new drive part, let's say, and there on the shaft will be the 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 propeller, the fan, and well, that's it, that's it. All right, and down here, I've done several things. Yeah, here I added also ventilation holes. Everywhere ventilation holes and I made it a two-part construction one base plate and one cover I made some screws so that we can screw those two things together I think this will be better since we will not will not For, for building, for construction. It was very hard to, to get all those things out. So let's have a look inside. Inside, I have now separated the logic, yeah, the controller, with the, the motor driver. This is now separated. And here, this is uh, still a DC-DC converter to support, to supply the, the, the controller. This here is the plug for the, for the L LEDs for the network and for the IoT LEDs. This is the controller. As you can see, there is nothing else on this on this plate, on this on this uh, on this print. And here this is the, the the motor controller. Here we still have our plug for supplying all of this. And this here is not just the cover. Yeah? However, there is the, the the LEDs are screwed inside there, so if I if I make this disappear, uh, the LEDs they are mounted here 
Yeah. And well, I have also I have also added here some sort of cable so that we are not with the with the cables of the of the motor. If I again add this here, here is the motor uh, with the cables of the motor that we are not uh, somehow interfering with our controller. Okay. So I hope this is now a more proper design. I really hope so. Uh, here, this, this is wrong. I have to fix this. Yeah, but actually, I think I'm ready to print again. So, yeah, I will print those parts and hopefully those are working now. And the, before I print the motor, the motor part, I will wait for the motor to arrive. It should arrive tomorrow. And then I hope we're having more power. More power, yeah. All right. That's it for the redesign. I hope this is working better this time. Yeah. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.